and welcome back to the channel on this video we're going to do some night riding and i just wanted to show you what the bike looks like i don't want to go head on with that headlight but there's what the headlight looks like on the lyric graffiti which i'll be riding the tail light isn't as bright but uh it works and then I'm wearing my ex Nito e-bike helmet which has a headlight in the front as you can see there and the tail light you have three options you can have it like I have it there flashing then there's a solid and then there's another flashing uh, light I prefer this one but so let me get my helmet on and go for a ride and we'll talk a little bit about night riding Okay, so let me get this set here. Alright. So this bike has an awesome headlight. I don't think you're going to find a better headlight for a bike. As you can see the stop sign, no problem. Uh, it's important to have good lighting. Uh, riding at night. I don't do a lot of night riding. So. My commute into work in the morning is in the dark because it's, I leave about 5.15 in the morning. So it's still dark out, especially in the winter. In the summer though, I get a little uh, stretch there of a month and a half or so where it's actually daylight uh, when I leave which I really like but I mean if you got to do the night riding it's not that bad as long as you have some protection I have some safety uh, things right now I have on the uh, I didn't you didn't see it but I have a safety vest reflective vest on and the helmet helps a lot too. And if you are interested in the helmet, I do have a link in the description for this X Needle helmet. It's been a great helmet. Uh, and if you do a lot of night riding, uh, you'll want to have lights on your helmet. So a good headlight is important and if you don't have a good headlight on your bike it may be a good idea to get a, another headlight to uh, <coughs> have extra. You can never have enough I suppose. Um, reflective clothing or a uh, reflective vest, pants is probably a good idea. I'm not going to go anywhere where there's a lot of traffic right now. so. I'm okay, but if you do ride a lot in with traffic or around traffic at night, then you, I think you'll want to be um, as much, let's call you lit up, as you possibly can be. So uh, reflective uh, pants of some kind would be uh, a good idea if you do uh, much night riding. Uh, like I say, especially in with traffic, if you're in with a a decent amount of traffic you want to be seen so the more uh, reflection you have or lighting you have the better you want to be uh, also like aware of your surroundings it's a little different at night you know like everything is so everything is so uh, you know it's dark and so you can't as well so you want to be more cautious you probably would be wise to ride just a little bit slower 
so you have a little extra uh, reaction time um, if you need to stop suddenly or something like that. Um, one of the reasons why I'm out doing this ride right now is because we've been under some tremendous heat here. temperatures exceeding 100 degrees day after day here lately in uh, the Portland, uh, Oregon area. And so it's kind of nice to get out here for a ride in the dark. It's a little bit cooler. Uh, it's definitely cooler than in the day. There's no sun beating down on you and And it's also a lot quieter right now, so it's kind of nice. There's one thing that... Um, I guess bothers me a little bit about night riding is that... If you don't have signal lights on your bike and you have to use your hand signals I don't think it's the greatest at nighttime to be able to see uh, that someone's wanting to turn left right or coming to a stop or whichever um, on a bike so that part can be a little bit dicey to me. That's why I'm, I've said this before and I'll say it again here. Um, I think all bikes should come with um, at least turn signals. I mean, and I think, especially when you're riding like this too at night or at any time really, the mirror is important as well. But the lights, the turn signals, because if you put your arm out make a turn first of all I don't like the idea of taking your hand off the uh, handlebars and for me um, you know I got the like most people we have uh, either a twist throttle or a thumb throttle so if you're trying to throttle your way through an intersection which I think is important to do as opposed to pedaling you want to get through as quick as, as you can um, and you're braking. How can you brake and use your hand signals at the same time? You just, just can't do it. So I think it's. An, I think they should put signal lights on all bikes. Uh, make it kind of a a mandatory thing. But I've been uh, saying that before, and I'll keep saying it. And uh, it'll probably never happen. But or I shouldn't say it'll never happen. It may happen someday, but I do say, uh, or see more uh, bikes now getting the signal uh, on the bike. It's happening a little more and a little more, so that's good. But uh, I suppose you could wear some kind of reflection around your arm or wrist to be able to see. Like right now, I'm in short sleeve. I do not have any uh, reflection on my uh, arms. The vest I'm wearing, the safety vest, is a short, short sleeve vest. It's not, it doesn't have arms. So, uh, if you've got uh, any uh, riding tips for riding at night, maybe you do more riding than I do at night. Maybe you've got some tips you'd like to share with folks out there go ahead and leave that in the comments below and the most important thing out there is safety and I just had a bug hit my head uh, some kind of moth or something and uh, I should mention one more thing that I think is important too is some kind of eye protection 
I've got some on right now, glosses, but uh, because, especially at night, I'm seeing a lot of bugs and moths and whatever flying around, and you don't want to get that in your eye. I mean, first of all, it's, it's uh, unpleasant to have that happen. It's irritating, and it's dangerous because if you're trying to ride along, and you get a bug in your eye, it's distracting you and, and could uh, have you lose control of your bike and you don't want to do that. But I haven't done a night ride in a while. It, I gotta say it is kind of nice to be out here. It sure helps though to have the good headlights. Maybe in the comments below, if you do uh, night ride, how much do you do? Do you do a lot of night riding? Maybe you commute back and forth uh, to work and you work at night? And how far do you commute if you do? Are you doing a lot of night riding? A little bit? Or are you one that absolutely does not like to do any night riding? And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.